certainly has a number for the kind of these big fat melee heroes who just want to get in there and beat your butt. Yeah. Can't really do it with a Viper, you know, poking at you and making it very, very difficult. So in MVP Phoenix, again, they're going to be clashing potentially here at the bottom. Solo moving way in ahead, looking for a setup with that disruption. Look at MSS, cheeky positioning, cutting right on through. Gets disrupted immediately. Not going to get close enough, but the Fissure set up right here. They get a Thunder Strike. Solo going to be in a bit of trouble, but they don't have enough to follow up. And it looks like he could be going down. No, they're not going to do that. I mean, not going down. Looks like he will be getting away. Ush will not be pursuing whatsoever. They all decide to pull back. Uh... Okay, they killed him because he was not, he was gonna, it was gonna take him like 20 seconds to walk back to base, yeah. and instead he's just instantly there, so it yeah. completely makes sense that they denied him. Nicely done. To get that glimpse, or even Kinetic Field, both could be very well utilized in this landing setup to get something for possibly Korok here, but they're not looking to give them too much of an easy time finding that side XP. You already see seen the Slayer here. Ooh, he's gonna get off. knocked though. Thunder Strike and a Fissure. Chad moving in from great behind. Great start, or great Korok. dodge. He's able to sidestep the Splitter, looking to make it away. Now Korok looking to step in, gets the Earth Shock here, trying to get the catch on the Solo. And look at that, Seam of the Slayer gets denied. The Neutral gonna be finishing him off. Now they're on pursuit Ooh. for Solo. They're getting split apart right here. Korok now decides he wants to go instead for the AM, who's working with the creeps, building up the efficient farm and XP. Both sides trade, but technically, no blood has been shed. This is this potential pull through with Nine Patch here, not making anything easy attack. for the Archon boys. And now they'll scurry away. They're even looking to take the aggro with them. The aggro could be pulled back once more from Solo. Oh, lightning strike onto Korok. Gonna get slowed down a bit. He has no more mana. Disruption. They're gonna lock him in place here. Korok could go down. Caught with a split earth. Lightning Storm once more, able to pop the wand, lives briefly, looking to make a run. Can't make it away, gonna be caught right there. Seam of the Slayer is gonna draw the official first blood of this game. Fog could be caught out next, drops a kinetic field, barely making it away, salves up. He steps oh. back. Oh no, he's gonna be brought down here. A few more right clicks will finish him. A blink committed, Nine Patch grabs that one. Chad says, I gotta go. And it is gonna be technically... I think MSS has gotta be happy with this matchup. Yeah. Now the top lane is going okay for him, but the bottom continues to be a bit of an awkward trade here. Fog really getting blocked back from his own creep. Oh, has he's to turn the this. corner and he goes down. Oh, unfortunate there with the creep timing and the pull through. Now they're looking to go for a return kill on the solo, but Korok gets locked down. Chad does kind of intervene and gets a nice fissure. Solo does end up going down. That was great. To him. That was and lucky, it, actually. And it, and it blocked the natural path that Fog wanted to go down, so he had to turn and go another way, which cost him his life. Now, mid lane, Osh oh, looking to commit on the Viper. Oh, man, that pesky corrosive skin <laughs> makes him really sweat for it. Now, he is yeah. able to finish him off, gets the assistance even. A bit limited as far as where you're able to get your picks. So, they kind of continue to go at toe-to-toe. -to -toe. The tri lane continues here from both sides. Korok training hits bottom, gets disrupted. It's going to be a stun. This looks really bad for him. Yep, yeah. he's done. The classic peanut butter and jelly combo. Less Shattered Demon putting in work, even here on the bottom lane. Good Fissure block, but it's an AM, so he just... If he gets a good kill out of this, it's going to be a huge advantage for him. He's looking oh. for the co-op. Yep, he sees Ush come right out. This Here it is. He's charging up the MP. Moves in. Beautiful setup with your Burrow Strike. That should be there. And that is going to be a oh, dead bottom, the god bottom, damage. Bottom, out of it. Done. Pops is... it at the end. Too mage with help from Quap. The, the Viper's HP is just too high, so... Push comes into the bot lane, Chad in trouble, he's going to TP, great juke spot, will he get it? Oh, oh it does it! What? I can't believe it, Last Chad is going to die now, for sure. Wow, well, that was a millisecond or something, I thought he, was, I thought he made it. I was he's going to have a mech here at about 150 gold, we'll have it done. All right, Clock giving up on the gank top, he's getting spotted by the ward though, and just as he does, he lands a hook shot, Chad even disrupts, this should be a kill for sure. And yes, eventually. Does it go to Korok though? MSS has to finish it up there at the end. Might have been too long and wanted to make sure. Uh oh, meanwhile, Fog pops out with Viper Strike, drops his own ult, the Static Storm Kinetic Field. He loses his own life. Will it be justified? It looks like not. No one should be able to etch himself out from trouble in a way. All the meanwhile, Korok gonna get caught out on the other side. How could be disastrous for Archon if they try to take that bait? He shows himself. Ush is nearby, hiding in the trees with Fog. Yeah, but all the meanwhile, caught. they're catching out MSS near the secret trap, as you pointed out. And okay, not happening. <laughs> he uh, tries to hookshot out to his ally, Chad, there, but he does end up getting blown Ooh, up. They got co or they got anti mage on the top lane, though. They got the trade they wanted. And they're going to get out. Links away. They both TP home. Split Earth not going to connect, so it ends up being an MSS for AM trade. Works. Oh, let's see. Shot. Get him. MSS leads. Oh, in. Bit of a mistake. Like Hog is going to be a bump. And he's 
going to get the self-disruption here. They quickly scatter, and it looks like they're going to pull out the retreat. They want AM. Will they get him? He's able to get away. Blink Blinks. away. Where's the glimpse? It's level four, but he's a bit too far and in the dark. And MSS is just accepting his fate here. Pulls the rest of the team to the right. Everyone else escapes. So ah, they, that should have been a shadow even kill. If they would have cogged him in, reach fast, and that's going to be a dead tier 2 tower. In the meantime, though, look what Korax is potentially getting away from. Oh, Shadow Demon TP's over. He spots him out, but he's get, getting jumped on by Ush. The TP's come as well. That's anti mage showing up to the team fight. He wants to be a Korax. going to be able to finish it. Look at that thing die. Man, that ult is ridiculous against Ush TP. Will he make it? Oh, they don't spot him. Oh, oh, he gets killed. He got killed right at the end. The mana void, I don't think, even went off, but... Oh, it did! It actually Quark might get a kill here. Can he get the one? He's gonna oh, lose his Aegis. Him. He will lose his Aegis. He can blink. They've got to land the perfect stun here. Here it comes. Oh, got he doesn't it. get the blink because he went left. Oh, he had to no, turn his happening. hero. This is gonna be a second life drop for Korok here. And he ends up going down. Oof. Uh, that's... Brief that hope shattered. Don't know if that one was worth it. He goes up the <laughs> other way. Oh! Gets caught with the burrow! See if I can get close enough for the splitter? No, not close enough. He's gonna be able to blink up, but it puts it north here. He gets scouted immediately thereafter and will be cleaned up. They just swarm in and take down Ush. Keep my anti mage. He's gonna blink. Oh, there's no creeps to farm though. Well, there's and no he definitely though. sees him now. He gotta get out of here before he loses all his mana. He's got a juke and blink. Oh, almost the ult. A quark fighting. Oh, the turn actually goes in unless it's good. He got it almost. Splitter does stop him. And now he gets disrupted. See the Slayer is A-OK -okay into the pullback. Fog not so much. He goes down. Oh, great dunk by Chad. Catches a couple. That's going to be Lush dying. Looking for the Burrow Strike. That catches Quark. Quark's so low. He's got a wand, but that's about it. Spending money. Tries to get a BKB, but he's a bit short in gold. And now anti -mage chasing. Three dead heroes from Archon. Did anybody die? I know Leshrac died. Pull Vega apart. Try to be ready for the defense that go. There's the dunk. All right, big jump, big kill. There you go. This is all for a support left, though, Stray. reminder, folks. But they get it nonetheless. So, Chad going to be TPing out. Uh, anti -mage. Not quite sure why. He also revealed the fact that they've a ward in that area, so I might get dewarded now. Yeah, not sure if that was worth it. Ooh, move forward. Yule's force from Mag, and they're going to get oh. the solo pick. I guess it wasn't a soul pick, but they get the catch out onto Ush. They realized it immediately afterwards because they walked past the sentry. Look at them split. Now they have like gatekeepers here for the Roche pit. Ooh, Roche is already gone. Antimate grabs it. Ultimate on MSS. He's getting chased. We'll see. So got a hook. He could get out. Neutral's in the way though. Here's the hook. He grabs the newts. Oh, not going to be happening. Korok's Close got down. Up. Korok blink away here. Mag's still on chase. The gap closer. The end all oh. gap closers here. Nine all right, pass. they're going in. They I want guess. to go, but Korok has no more mana. Chad pretty low as well. They're just going to scurry back into their base. It's a level two. There's the first Viper Strike coming out, but it's a 12 second cooldown due to the Aghanim, so this nothing lost there. Is just an ageless Viper working on bottom. They have their AM, who does have Aegis in the mid lane. Now he goes to the bottom to join them. And they still have yet to pull the trigger on anything. It looks like this tier 3 is going to be going down uncontested. Quark goes in. Damage BKB being used. Hookshot goes in as well. Oh, two-man catch. Big Burrow set from Mag. My goodness. He's able to get the oh, quick dunk. And they get the grab right there. Chad trying to be a dire hope. A big dunk on the back end side. But it's only going to get the Lesh. They've already now lost four Purge. Fog the only survivor. And it looks like the Rax is going to be going down. Archon's dreams of TI5 glory could be shattered right before our eyes. And Mag now looking to ascend into the next round and be one step away from making it to Key Arena and into that prize pool. They're going to do it for the fans right now. They're going to probably look to go in and give it all or nothing. I imagine at this point, there's MSS leads and gets the catch on the AM. Pops his blade mail and he gets popped himself. Goes down immediately thereafter. Uh, follows up with his own Sonic Wave. Oh! No one's so back onto Fog. Korok manhandles the AM. It is just for an Aegis after all. But it looks like Vega, the Immortal Beast, still all stand. And it looks like they're going to force Archon back into their base and force Dyer's them to accept the reality that this is over. Mag even buying a Dagon out at this point. Looks like Archon, their TI5 days are going to be numbered here. Yeah, they're, they're, their chances of defending Mega Creeps are pretty much non-existent. They don't have much AoE. It's a Disrupt support and Earthshaker support. And they are just, yeah, that's it. They're talking about what happened. Well, play comes out from Archon, and indeed it was. Vega looked very strong in this two-game series. Archon, gotta give the boys some respect. They came in, they took it to a three-game stretch against MVP Phoenix in a very tight game two. Game three even started for Archon. 
And then in this series, it was pretty convincing it was Vega. We could chalk it up to multiple reasons. Purge, maybe Archon being a bit more nervous and more hesitant.